Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about a morning shift versus an evening shift and the differences and what you can expect. A morning shift and a night shift basically, I mean morning shift and an evening shift. There is also night shifts, like overnight shifts. 10 p.m. until 6 a.m. Um, I'm not going to talk about the shift in this video. I think I'll make a separate video for that. They're basically flip-flopped, so like you'll do more in the day in a morning shift in the first part of your shift whereas in an evening shift you're doing the most of your work at the end of your shift so let's just talk about what the work is so morning shift you get there you get to the nurse's desk and you hear your report the reports basically from what happened the night before and maybe the day before after report you go right to getting people up and getting them ready for breakfast so You'll want to get probably the very dependent people up first so that they have help eating, so they're in the dining room first. Um, depends on how your nursing home works, like who's feeding the residents. Most of the places I've worked at, the PSWs are also the ones feeding the residents, so I'm going to give you an example of that because I find that to be the most common. Um, sometimes there will be volunteers or dietary aid that will be helping with feeding. So PSWs just get the residents up, they send them to the dining room and those people would help. If not, this is what happens, is you're getting everybody up. Uh, once everybody is up, you bring them to the dining room to their special seats. You will serve them their food unless dietary aid does that. And then you will feed them, the ones that need assistance with eating. While you're feeding them, or after, you will be trying to chart what they're eating, so how much they're drinking, how much they're eating of what they ate, if they're avoiding certain things on their plate, and if they're having any issues like swallowing or anything like that is what you're going to want to chart, and how much you actually helped them. So, you either do some of your charting during feeding, so like if you have a piece of paper handy with all your information you can write on that while you're doing your feeds, or after, when everybody's done eating, you try to remember what everybody ate. <laughs> There's also a few residents that will have scheduled baths when you first get there for your shift. So you might have a bath shift person who only does baths at the nursing home. That is sometimes the case. Or you also have to find time to do those baths. So somebody might be doing a couple baths early, early in the morning before breakfast. You might get a couple done then um, in between getting other people up or after breakfast when you've finished eating, everybody has been cleaned up and brought back to their rooms and you've done your charting, then you can do a couple more baths again after that. Basically, 6 a.m. you start, 8 a.m. is breakfast time, everybody has to be down to the dining room by then and they need to be ready. So I'm gonna call these rounds. Rounds is when you're going to each and every person and seeing if they need to use the washroom or anything else that is of concern that they may need, might need help with. So after breakfast is done, you've done your charting, that is kapoosh. Then you're gonna go and check on everybody again, see if they need help going to the washroom. And it's not also like a, hey, do you need to go to the washroom? It's like a, oh, this person can't talk, so we need to get them on the toilet so they can use the washroom if they need to. Each and every person you go to and you either use the lift or you transfer them onto the toilet and you help them do their thing and then you go to the next and so on. When you're done that, you do all your charting for that so if anybody had any bowel movements, anything like that, you're going to chart that. You're going to do a snack cart in between your rounds so then you have to chart all the snacks that the residents ate you have to help feed the residents that cannot eat their snacks by themselves. And then after the snark, the snark, after the snack cart, um, you do rounds again. So it's very repetitive. And uh, basically you do your charting until the next shift takes over. So for the morning shift, you got most of your stuff done in the morning when you were doing the AM care with uh, washing them and brushing their hair, brushing their teeth, maybe helping with their makeup, getting them dressed. You already did all that. And then the evening shift will come in at 2 p.m. and that's when they take over. So when they come in, remember it's flipped, so everything starts off a little easier for them. 
they get there, they get their report just like you did in the morning, except for their report is everything that has just happened from the morning shift and maybe also from the day before. Right away baths can get done if there's still baths that need done. Um, some nursing homes only do baths in the morning, so it depends on your nursing home also if you do them or not for your evening shifts. After everybody's been bathed and you've heard your charting and whatnot, you do your rounds and you make sure everybody's gone to the washroom and they get the help they need and then you chart. 5 p.m. rolls around and you're gonna help with dinner so again you serve or dietary aid serves you help them eat you keep track of what they're eating so you can chart that later or right then and there and then um, after dinner is done around 6 o'clock you go back and you begin helping them with their p.m. care so washing up for bed and taking their hair out or whatever needs done getting them changed and you're going to want to get the most dependent people again in bed first. You got them up first, now you're going to get them in bed first. Because if you leave them until last, there's a chance that they might fall if they're a high fall risk. So get them into their bed first so they cannot roll anywhere except for onto the bed pad that is on the ground. And then while you're doing that, there's another break in between that where the snack cart will happen and you'll do your rounds again and make sure everybody's good. Anybody that you already put into bed, you gotta make sure if they need to use the washroom again. And then you chart. And then you're basically done. And it's 10 p.m. and it's time to go home. <laughs> so that's basically the morning versus the night. I hope that gave you a good enough example of what happens. Yeah, if you have any other questions, just let me know and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.